The new recorder is finally here, so we can show the difference between the guided version and the recorded version. So a quick overview, if you've used the app before and you're used to the recorded process, the guided process is going to feel extremely slow, but maybe a little bit more informational. If you're new to the app, then the guided process will feel like it's answering your questions as you go, where the manual recording version is a little bit more of a on your own, just kind of fly as fast as you can, and you might need to edit your automation a little bit more afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the old recorded version. The way that this version works is it's going to record every step as you go. So every time you click, it records it. Every time you type, it records it. Things like that are all automatically being tracked for you. So for example, when I click in here, it's capturing. If I type Google and click enter, it captured my change and my key press. And so we can see that everything is being automatically captured here. And it's going to be decided for us if we're going to navigate or if we don't need to navigate. All of those things are being decided for the user during this recording process. Now with the manual guided version, what that's going to do is that's going to give us a pop-up window that is providing us with a couple more options as we go. It's all the same functionality as the original recorder, but a little bit more slowed down, not as, not as easy to make mistakes here and hopefully a little bit more informational for you. So the way that this is gonna work is instead of us just browsing and immediately clicking, we're gonna to wanna to specify the first URL that we're starting on. So in my example, I'm gonna make this just google.com. And when I click save, this is gonna to go to that URL in the browser behind me. I can minimize this if I wanna check on things, there's no problem if we wanna do that. But the next step I wanna do is I wanna record a type step and then I'm gonna click search. So what I'll do is I'll click record and I'll do type and then let's do World Cup roster 2024 USA, whatever we wanna do, right? We're gonna see that this was captured in the bottom corner exactly what we typed, which we can replace with a variable later and then we're gonna confirm the selection. So that's the first step that was recorded. Now in the manual recorded method, it would have recorded a click and then a type and whatever we did in Google automatically without us having to say what needed to be recorded. So the next step here is gonna be adding a click to actually perform this search and that is done there. So we can see the differences here are just that you have a little bit more of a of a guide of what you want to do which button is next instead of just moving through your automation but all share the same the same functionality the same way that the recorder had all of the insert options in this corner you have here with all of your filters all your delays and things like that we can also connect our data from here all of these things are available in both versions of the recorder this version is going to be much slower but much better for beginners or for people that are getting used to using this type of an automation tool.